Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update April 18th, 2023. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 674 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, Till the End of the Moon gets its opening Topan rating, and it's a bit on the low side. Angela Baby and Song Wei Long's Everlasting Longing share their first character posters. Shando and Lorinda Ho get married in Bali. And Chen Xiao and Michelle Chen share a cute interaction on social media. We usually begin with what's recently premiered, but nothing to report for today and yesterday. So we begin with the dramas that recently announced their premiere dates. Youth in Flames of War, previously known as the National Southwest Associated University and Us, confirmed yesterday an April 23rd premiere. The Republican era drama stars Dylan Huang and Chou Ye as students fighting for their university education during the Second Sino-Japanese War. Dylan Huang experienced a surge in popularity with last year's Love Between Fairy and Devil. He followed it up with Unchained Love and most recently a supporting role in Never Give Up. Zhou Ye has had three supporting roles in her short drama career so far, Word of Honor, The Cradle, and Reset in July, all of which came out in 2021. Youth and Flames of War is her first lead role in a drama. Youth and Flames of War is slated for 39 episodes and will stream on Yuku and Aichi. I will update again on where to watch with English subs, if available, after it premieres. And that's it for premiere announcements. Next up, Everlasting Longing recently released their first official character posters. Everlasting Longing stars Angela Baby and Sung Wei Long. On January 31st, the costume drama officially announced their lead cast. Here are the two stars on opening day at Hung Tian Studios. Angela Baby's last costume drama to air was last year's The Wind Blows from Longsi, in which she had a supporting role. Sung Wei Long starred in the recently aired A League of Noblemen. Before that, there hadn't been any news of him filming any dramas for a while, but he seems to be back in the thick of it now. Yesterday, April 17th, Everlasting Longing shared their first character posters. According to Baidu, in the drama, Angela Baby is the daughter of a merchant. While traveling with her father on business, they are robbed by Sung Wei Long's character, the leader of Beixuan City, and thus begins the two lead characters' love-hate relationship. The drama also stars Ren Hao and Angela Bai. More updates on the drama as they provide them. Next up for drama updates, Till the End of the Moon recently got its opening Topan rating. Considering the terrific word of mouth it got early on, the rating is a bit on the low side. The Xianxia drama starring Liu Luo and Bai Lu opened with an average score of 6.2 from around 60,000 ratings. Those of you who are following the drama, what do you think? Too high, too low, or just about right? Chime in in the comment section below. Till the End of the Moon had opened to a great reception in terms of views. On Yuku, it became the fastest drama ever to break 10,000 popularity points, doing so in just 29 hours. By day 3 of its premiere, it got the highest single-day views among Xianxia dramas in the past 3 years. Recently, however, the drama shared a statement, reportedly in response to some malicious statements made against the drama's actors. The statement was then reshared by Liu Luo, Bai Lu, Chen Duling, Deng Wei, and others' studios. Among other things, the statement read, all topics and promo activities during the airing of the drama should be positive. We do not want any promo activities to damage the rights and interests of the drama and its actors. We will take action against fake news and malicious attacks. We hope the majority of netizens will follow the drama rationally. Moving on now, I have a couple of rumored drama bootings to update on, beginning with Yun Xiu Sing. Yun Xiu Sing is adapted from the Japanese novel series The Story of Sain Koku. The costume drama is rumored to star Li Yitong and Joseph Cheng, with Chu Saojie directing. Chu Saojie also directed Noble Aspirations and My Sassy Princess. This is a screenshot from Douban. Li Yitong starred in the recently aired Warm on a Cold Night, whereas Joseph Cheng starred in last year's High Venus. Word on social media is that, tentatively, filming for Yun Xiu Sing will begin on April 26th at Hengtian Studios and last 120 days. 
The other drama that's rumored to start up soon is the story of Hua Zhi. Also a costume drama, this one's lead couple is still kind of up in the air, with Zhang Jingyi being the common denominator. According to Douban, Zhang Jingyi will star with Lin Yi, and Zhu Riping, who also helmed Ashes of Love and The Long Ballad, will direct. However, other sources on social media have Zhang Jingyi starring opposite Hu Yitian. This blogger also has the drama as tentatively booting up on May 8th at Hengtian Studios and filming to go for 120 days. More updates on the aforementioned dramas if and when they announce something official. And that's it for drama updates. Moving on, celebrity updates, and today we begin with Sean Doe and Lorinda Ho. Wedding bells have rung for the happy couple. 34-year-old Sean Doe has a supporting role in the currently airing Ode to Joy Season 4. Earlier today, he married his girlfriend of four years, 31-year-old billionaire heiress Lorinda Ho, in a wedding ceremony held at a resort by a picturesque cliff in Bali, Indonesia. Leading up to their wedding, the couple were tight-lipped about it, but after, they have been quite generous with photos. Here's one of them walking down the aisle. Her caption reads, hand in hand, shoulder to shoulder. Here is another of the couple doing a Chinese-style ceremony. According to Sena Entertainment, the couple did not want to quote-unquote exhaust their family and friends with an extravagant wedding. They decided they would return to Hong Kong for a low-key banquet later. Sena also shared pictures of a wedding gift and invitation card from the couple. The card says, We are about to begin a new chapter in our lives. We will share the wind and rain, and bask in the sunshine together, and become better people for each other. Love, Dodo and Dada. A huge congratulations to them both. Before we get to our next story, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. Alright, next up, a cute little interaction between Chen Xiao and his wife Michelle Chen. 35-year-old Chen Xiao stars in the recently aired crime drama 13 Years of Dust. He is also married to 39-year-old Taiwanese actress Michelle Chen. The real-to-real -real couple tied the knot in 2016, two years after they starred in the romance of the Condor Heroes. There was a time when the two would often interact publicly on social media. That seemed to cease for a while for whatever reason, but recently picked up again. On April 13th, Michelle shared a picture of Jerry the Mouse and captioned it, Let me see who the killer in 13 years of dust is. Turns out it's me. On her message though, she asks, Mr. Chen, who exactly is the killer? To which Chen Xiao replied, Haha, that's right, it's the person you suspect. 13 Years of Dust stars Chen Xiao and Chen Jianbing as cops who try to solve a series of brutal homicides. The drama aired the last of its 24 episodes a couple of days ago. Lastly, for celebrity updates, here are some photos that made the rounds on social media recently. We begin with 29-year-old Bai Jingting, who starred in last year's costume drama New Life Begins. Bai Jingting was recently photographed on the set of his latest drama, Nan Lai Bei Wang. Nan Lai Bei Wang, which literally translates to going north and south, is an idiom for heavy traffic or a bustling crowd. Here he is in uniform in a couple of other pictures. In the drama, which is set in the 70s, he plays a railway public security officer who battles criminals ranging from pickpockets to kidnappers. The show reportedly wrapped filming earlier today as well. And then I found this one kind of interesting. This is Kitty Zhang, who was photographed at the airport not that long ago. Kitty is a 36-year-old actress who starred in last year's tomb raiding drama Kunlun Tomb. Again, here's Kitty looking chic at the airport with her brown leather jacket and short shorts. What's interesting is that the paparazzi got a close-up shot of her mobile phone case, and on it were the messages, You are good, love yourself, and the wise don't fall in love. According to Sena Entertainment, netizens called her quote-unquote clear-headed. 
Kitty, who's had a couple of turbulent marriages, once admitted in an interview that she had a bad eye for men, and that getting married didn't matter to her. The most important thing was that she was happy. On that note, it's Tuesday today, so time for another segment of Where's Marcus At? The title of the segment doesn't refer to where I'm at physically, it refers to where I'm at in the dramas I'm following. Went on a bit of a drama dive this past week, I'm currently following three of them. I'm on episode 12 of Nothing But You starring Leo Wu and Zhou Yutong, following it on YouTube where it's available with English subs. And I checked out the first two episodes of Till the End of the Moon starring Leo Luo and Bai Lu, following it on YouTube where it's available with English subs. Also, I'm following Beef on Netflix. It's an American comedy drama miniseries starring Steven Yun and Ali Lee. So far, there's only one season. I'm on episode 6 of 10. As Netflix describes it, a road rage incident between two strangers, a failing contractor, and an unfulfilled entrepreneur sparks a feud that brings out their darkest impulses. I have good first impressions of all three dramas, especially Beef. Any of you guys following it too? I'll get into more detail on these dramas in later episodes, but for now, that's been another segment of Where's Mark Is At. Before I let you guys go, I want to give a big virtual hug to Melissa Newton, who recently became a patron on my Patreon. Thank you for your support, Melissa. And that brings us to the end of this episode. See you guys Thursday. As always, stay safe, and I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.